Hello, 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 everybody. We got dressed up. We're all dressed up. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Live stream. Third one. Woo! It is all going good. So going good here, isn't it, boys? We are dressed up. Happy Easter. Stanley has came as the Easter Bunny, but unfortunately we only have one bunny outfit, so we have Winston dressed as Woody, and then we have Pablo dressed as Sully, and for some reason they've decided to sit on the top of the couch for tonight. I don't know why, they just love doing it. They're like cats. Pugs are so close to cats, it's ridiculous. There you go. So they are like full suits, I'll... They were awake, and I could have shown you them properly, but... Well, you're fast asleep now, and we'll leave you to it, because... You'll just be all nice and cosy over there, and that's... That's good. Hope everybody is staying safe. It's still... Everyone's still in lockdown. This is... It's, it's boring, isn't it, guys? It's boring. Are you bored? It's not much different for you, is it? Sleep all the time. Go for a poop in the garden, come back in and sleep some more. It's great. They're all going to be snoring away through this whole thing. He's tired. They've been out with me all day in the garden we've spent now. Two full days in the garden. I don't know if you can see that. But I have a huge blister on my hand. From, from doing gardening things. Okay, well, that's it. Chelsea, Chelsea is upstairs. Chelsea is currently sleeping, I think. I think if she wakes up, she might join us at the end of the stream. But she's having a nap and you don't wake people from naps when they're having a nap. Whew, bad idea. So Chelsea isn't going to be joining us. Possibly, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But she normally sleeps for a good couple of hours, so... It might just be us. Oh, congratulations! Get a puppy next Friday. That is essential travel, so good luck with that. Because ha oh, having a puppy in this time would have been the best time to do it. Just unlimited time off. Oh, perfect, perfect. All the outfits. This isn't sponsored. Primark, believe it or not. Our Primark in Carlisle here doesn't have any dog outfits at all. We were in Glasgow not too long ago. And we were just wandering around and they just had a huge section on dog clothes. So we got... I think we ended up spending like £60 on dog clothes, which is ridiculous. But look how cute they look. So Primark, Primark do a good range. But... Whether your Primark has the range, I don't know. They do loads. They've got sharks, they've got Batman outfits. There's loads. There's loads of good ones. And there's like unicorns and... Oh, it's so good, guys. So good. So get yourself to Primark. And they were like six, seven pound each, which is a good price. Because some of them you can... Some of them are a fortune. I mean, like 20 odd pounds. And I'm like... Mm. But and I tell you what. They absolutely love them. Like you put them on them, and it's obviously like just it's just a blanket. It's just a small blanket, so they get nice and hot and cozy, and then they just fall asleep like this. So we'll see how long this piece lasts. Now we yeah, so we thought Stanley was going to be bigger than both of them because the speed he grew up and the size of his paws as a puppy we were 100% certain he was going to be bigger than both of them but he just seems to have like completely stopped growing now and he's shorter than both of them and I don't know whether he's going to keep going but maybe I mean he's, he's still got plenty of time to grow Winston's still growing now but Winston's more growing out than up but I don't know we'll have to look at when Winston stopped growing height wise so we'll have to go back and look at some videos see when he stopped growing height wise but I mean, he stands still, he's still got a very puppy body, so he is, he is still going to be growing, but 
We thought he was going to tower over them, but I think it's going to be quite close now. It might be quite close. Do the boys sneeze? Do they look? They look like angels. Yeah. Yeah, the sneeze. Well, not not too. Don't sneeze like all the time. You just have little like puffs of water, don't you? How very lazy of you all. Pablo. Pablo. Hello. Then we've got Winston. I'll take your hood off. There you go. Maybe people will recognise you then. Give me your hood. There you go. And then we've got Stanley here. You can tell it's Stanley because he's got a really small face and massive ears. Huge big ears. Oh, good boys. So hopefully that clears it up. Pablo, Winston, Stanley. We'll have to do a full video on how to distinguish each one from each other because a lot of people now are getting very confused at who's who and I can kind of understand why. Obviously we spend every single day with them so we don't think they look alike. If they're running really quickly, it's hard to tell because there's no way to tell them when they're running. But we think they all look very different. But obviously, you're spending every day with them. We're going to, like, it's the same with twins. People who are friends with twins know who's who. Whereas if you come up as an outsider just looking straight in, you haven't got a clue. But obviously, we pick up on little things. So we'll do a full video explaining that because everyone's getting very confused. Everyone is getting very confused. Pablo is king. Pablo is king. Look at him. He's got the high ground. Knows what he's doing. Greg just turned warm, black pug. Gave him the watermelon. Yeah, we, loads of people said, like, how have we not gave him watermelon before? Me and Chelsea don't eat watermelon, so we'd never have one in the house. So it just never came about. But they absolutely love it, so now we're going to get them watermelons and eggs and. Oh, now you're just going to get tripped all the time. All the time. But it is messy. Oh, my. And Winston. Winston. I mean, if you've seen that video, Winston. Oh, my. I've never seen. Oh, I mean, I say I've never seen a dog eat that fast. I've seen Winston eat that fast plenty of times. But he eats unbelievably fast. He almost took my finger. Like, if you've seen how I was holding it, when he bit it, he full on got. Whoa. He full on got my nail with, like, the edge of his mouth as he, like, snapped down on it. Luckily it didn't hurt because it was my nail, but, oh, he is crazy. Uh, I would probably take the seeds out of the watermelon, I've just seen that comment. Um, probably take them out, I don't know if they are safe or not, but most of ours hit the deck when Winston splattered it. Um, but they didn't, all, like, they literally just dropped them all, so they weren't actually eating them, because they don't tend to eat seeds and things. But I would, if you're not, sh if your dog will eat them, I'd think take them out. I'm not sure what they, let me just, we'll have a quick Google. Let's have a quick Google. Where's it? Please do a video of them eating peanut butter. We can do. Again, that's something we just don't have in the house. So we need to go out specifically to get it. And obviously now they're saying essential travel only. So next time we do our like big shop, we'll get some, we'll get some other snacks for them. See... See, well, I mean, we'll, t well, what else could we get? Um, what else would you like to have a munch on? A lemon? Should we get him a lemon? And see the reaction to eating a lemon? Or is that a bit harsh? It's maybe a bit harsh. It'd be funny though, make a good video. You like a lemon? Not interested. No. It, there we go. Watermelon seeds are not toxic to dogs, so if your dog's eating a few, not to worry. However, too many watermelon seeds can cause intestinal blockage. So don't give them a 10 ton of seeds, but if they've got a few seeds on it, they'll be alright, but take them off anyways, you might as well. Do your pugs eat grass? Yes. No lemon. <laughs> broccoli. I'm trying with broccoli. Yes, they eat grass, they eat leaves. We've just, which you'll see a video probably sometime next week once I finish the garden, garden wound. Um, 
they just eat plants, they eat everything, and we've just got a load of laurel, so that's not good for dogs really. But we've got the safe type. There's different types of laurel. Some are toxic to dogs, some are just normal, so before anyone kicks off about that, it's fine. We've got the non-toxic stuff. They still shouldn't eat it, but, well actually, Stanley is the only one who eats it, the other two aren't bothered at all. Yes, do them a banana. Ooh, banana. Oh, banana. I think if you just get an assortment of messy fruits and vegetables and stuff, I think that would... And we'll just do a video on each one, maybe. Hmm. I also want to do, like, a food testing video and put, like, a variety of foods down and see which ones they like, which ones they don't. But being pugs, I mean, they're not fussy at all. At all. I mean, they'll eat pretty much anything. We've got a mixed opinion on the whole lemon situation, so that's when we'll call it no. <laughs> Chelsea is asleep, so she won't be joining us. I mean, she could have went to sleep on here, but I don't think that's very... She did. Uh... Yeah, no. <laughs> Who's the most picky eater? Pablo? If you want to call any of them picky, I would say Pablo, because if you feed him, if you feed him like a bit of a tablet or something, his food, he'll be able to spit specifically that out, like he knows. Whereas like Winston and Stanley will eat so fast they won't even notice something else is in the bowl with them. Whereas Pablo is very, Pablo just eats a lot slower, so he can determine what's going in his mouth. Winston and Stanley just eat so fast they don't have a clue what's going in. Could be a finger, could be a part of the bowl. They don't care. Carrots, bananas, yeah, I think we're just going to get an assortment of things. Cucumber, watermelon, apples, strawberries, strawberries, that's a good one, that's a good one. All in moderation, of course. Yeah, don't give them like a full cucumber each, and then a full carrot each, they will. Has your leg came out your pants? I think it has, I think it has. Yeah, I'll leave you to it. Do, 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 do. Who's this, who's which one snores snores the loudest? I think when Pablo snores, he snores the loudest. But I think I would say actually Winston because he snores the most and most often. So he's probably louder in terms of it will go on for longer and more consistently. But I think when Pablo does a proper snore in terms of decibel level, his is probably louder. But Winston's the most noticeable by far. Who's the sleepiest, Pablo? You know the sleepiest? He's just the most chill. He just, just sits down all the time. These two are constantly playing and he'll just, he'll just have a little nap. He doesn't care. Happy Easter. Yes, happy Easter, everyone. It is Easter. It's a, it's, it's a weird one, that, actually, because it is Easter. Yet, I mean, Easter's all normally always about going to see family. Everyone would be going around to the parents, going and have, like, an Easter lunch, Easter... Sunday tea, whatever your like tradition is on an Easter. When everyone's sat at home, kind of like, it's Easter! Hey! Everyone's buying their own eggs and... It's a bit of a, da it's a, bit of a downer, really, isn't it? Hmm, it's a bit of a downer. But we got dressed up, so how are we making the most of it? Let's have fun. We're going to have some nice dinners after this, aren't we? Yeah. We're going to have some nice dinner. Do any of the boys hide things? No. No, they don't. Sort of. Um, if I look under here. No, I can't reach it. It's right at the back. They do store toys right under there, so we can't get them. As I've just proven, we can't get them. So there's a few toys right at the back of there. But they can't really hide them because one of them will hide it, the other one will bring it back out. So they can't... The only thing they do is hide stuff from us. So, like, normally there's sticks and stones and stuff they brought out the garden. They go under there and leave them there so we can't get them. So they do kind of hide stuff, but not particularly well. I mean, we could just go under there. They don't like bury stuff in the garden or anything like that. They just they just leave stuff under the couch. If 
Pablo is a soft nugget and Winston is a naughty potato, what is Stanley? I think Stanley takes the naughty potato now. I think Winston takes the needy potato. Because Winston is, he's like, he's so loving, but like, Pablo will come and sit on you and snuggle in, but he's quite happy to be by himself, whereas like, Winston needs to be with someone, on someone, with another dog at all times. He's just so needy, but not in like an overwhelming needy way. He's just, con he's the one who's constantly there. So he's a needy potato. Pablo is a lazy potato, a grumpy potato, just a straight up potato. And then Stanley is, Stanley's a terror. Nah, he's not really. He's just very lively. You're a lively potato. Do you have a mod? No, I don't have anything. I, this, this is all very new to me, all this stream and stuff. Mods and stop spying hooks and pokes. Is someone spamming? I can't see if it's spamming, it's not coming up for me. So I, I apologize if things are going off in the chat. Do you steal slippers, shoes, or the oven gloves? No, scared of oven gloves. They're scared of oven gloves, they're scared of the oven, well sort of scared, they're scared of oven gloves, not particularly scared of the oven, but we tried to scare them deliberately with the oven gloves because typically if you've got the oven gloves, you go near the oven which is very hot and then you pull them stuff out of the oven which is very hot, so we scared them with it, so whenever we put them on, they ran away, so then there is no chance of them getting burnt, which actually worked out quite well. So you put the oven gloves on, turn towards them and just kind of chase them and scare them with them and they'll run away. And then you can get all the stuff out without them potentially burning or jumping in. Because Pablo is a puppy and then Stanley as well, when we got him, when you pulled the oven like door out and then you took the tray out and put it on like the top, you like to, because you wanted to get close to you, you tried to like jump onto the door. So we made an attempt. But in terms of the shoes, yes, the amount of times I go to go out in the garden and my shoes are already in the garden, it's like, well, I'm putting my shoes on so I don't get my feet wet, but now my shoes are up on the top of the garden where it is wet, so now I'm going to have to walk, get my feet wet to get my shoes. He's a, he, specifically Stanley, is a terror. You need to get Nightbot. Oh no, I'm going to make a... I'm going to make a, a list of things I need to do for the streams. Night streams. Streams. Night bot. Night bot. Oh, come on. It keeps autocorrecting it to night bit. I will, for, for next video, I'll try and get some stuff sorted because if you're just having issues, I apologise. I can't see it. My chat's filtered. So it filters out spam. But obviously, if you guys are getting that spam, I do apologise. How often do you clean the wrinkles? As often as possible. Um, if they've been, if they've been out on a big walk, or they've been running around and playing all day, or it's been sunny, or they've had the face in wet bushes. Anytime we think the like, if you would wash your hands, we would wash the face sort of thing. So if they've had the nose in wet plants, obviously they can get water and stuff in there, so we'll give it a wipe out. If they've had a day where it's been hot and sunny, and they've been lying in the sun all day, they'll get sweaty, so we'll clean it then. But typically every every couple of days, every two days, every... Or when it comes to summer, we'll probably be doing it every day, because obviously the, the sweat's the main one, because the sweat will, sweat stinks when it gets in the nose crease. But other than that, if you keep on top of it every day, every other day, you don't ever get it smelling or anything like that. It's just the breath. The breath's bad. My pug ran into a neighbour's house. Oh, Front door's open, playing fetch, and run straight through the house and back. <laughs> yeah, luckily, luckily these can't get out of our back garden. But when we went round to my grandma's one time, Pablo done that. Like they've got a lot, like a big kind of long garden. It was like it was that old house that was next door. We used to live next door to them. Long story. Anyways. So at the bottom of the gate, it's like a fence, but it's got like one, like a wire that goes right across the bottom. Well, 
they're thin enough to go through it, but like obviously my grandma's old collies and stuff like, and my mum's dog, they're too big. But these can go through it, so I didn't realise that Pablo had gone through and was sat on the other side of the fence. Which from the like the living room window we were looking and we were like, no, he's just at the top end of the garden having a sniff. And then just like walked across and just appeared to disappear into the bush. Then we obviously realised he was on the other side. So I like ran down the garden to go find him and then the house's door, back door was open. I was like, oh no, where is he? And I, I just seen his butt kind of, because like the garden's on like multiple levels, his butt just jumped up and went into the back door. And then all he heard was like loads of dogs barking because they've got like three black Labradors. And then Pablo just came like welling out the door at like full speed, chased by these other dogs. And we were just like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. But then they had a big play in the garden. I couldn't catch him. They couldn't catch their dogs. And then I took him home because he's absolutely knackered. And then now he tries to get out every time. But there you go. How do you walk them during quarantine? How do you walk them? Uh, just like any other walk. But obviously we can't take them out somewhere to walk. So just a case of out around the block or like kind of... We've got like a... I think it's about a mile and a half, kind of from where our house is. You go that way, and it kind of there's just a big loop. So we just we've just been doing that basically every day. Or if like tonight, where it's a bit awfully weather, and I say it's not awful weather, it's not sunshine. We'll maybe take them to the park if nobody's there, so we can let them off and let them have a run round. But obviously, if there's people at the park and things like when it's sunny, obviously people shouldn't be there at the park, but people are. Um, but there's other dog walks and stuff, and obviously you don't want them interacting with other dogs and. So if it's, if it's empty at the park, we'll take them there. If not, we'll just kind of walk past it and go right around the big block. But they love, they love just going on the big block walk. It's just far enough for them, isn't it? To get you tired. They don't care. I love the TikTok video with Pablo snoring in your lap. That isn't ours. Have we posted on TikTok yet? I don't think we have. That'll be... The other TikTok, that's got our name. Honestly, I have no idea how TikTok works. No, we haven't posted any TikToks. I was going to leave Chelsea to do it, but we are going to be... We're going to have like a... In about 10 minutes or so, we're going to have a full YouTube chat about what content we're going to be doing. Because this lockdown is going to be going on for quite a bit longer, we're assuming. So, we'll have a little bit of that, but we'll... We'll keep answering a few of your questions first. They have gentle chews or sticks for their teeth. Yeah, so we try and brush the teeth, but it is a task like none other. It is impossible, especially Pablo, because I mean, like, I literally just grazed a thing on his chin there, and now he thinks I'm going near his mouth. But he won't, he never opens his mouth, anyways. He's always got his mouth fully shut at all times and we does not let them in but so we give them the, 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 we give them dental chews and sticks and all things like this because otherwise we can't brush the teeth so they're the best alternative if you do struggle to brush the teeth Winston's okay at brushing teeth Stanley um, not even really get started on Chanley it's like he just chews the stick but you can't you can get it, you can get it in his mouth and kind of get his teeth slightly brushed but We've almost lost a toothbrush already just from that. Carl, thank you so much for having the... How the boys react to thunderstorms? Thank you so much for having the pug videos. I love the trio. You're very welcome. We, I love I love sharing them and love doing videos. This is great. It's great for me because this is... Th this is my life now. What everyone else is experiencing right now. This has been my life now for the past... Six, seven months. So I'm very used to this. Like this... Isolation isn't particularly boring me. There was, there's a lot of things it's prevented. I'm annoyed at But this isn't weird for me. This is exactly my normal life. The only thing different is Chelsea's home um, But yeah, I was getting I mean it took like six months But I was getting bored and I had plans because I was like right I'm bored in the house. I've got things to do. I want to do some things and take them out, but we're back in the house Ugh. You're good looking cop I like them kind of comments. Keep them up. Mm. 
Thanks for the nudge from Matt on pug number two, Carl. The seed is now planted. Yes! Once it's in there, once you've dangled the carrot, you'll think, honestly, it'll, it'll just... The seed's planted, it's gonna grow, you'll get two. Excellent, I'm happy for you. Having one is great. Um, having two is great. Having three is great. Having four, well, I can't give my opinion on it, but I'm sure that's great as well. But yeah, it's good. To, it's good for them to have somebody with because the, it's not like it's nice having them all the time around you. And like when we just had Pablo, he was just on you and he'd follow you. He was on you. But it's nice that they kind of have their own independence now. They don't fully rely on you. You know, especially if you're going to leave them at any point. And that was my always the worst thing. Because when we got Pablo, we were still working full time. Both of us, we had alternate days so there was only like one or two days we were actually fully off but when you leave them with just one one of your own I mean we set up the camera many times and probably why he got so lazy I say lazy just chill is because he would just go off sit on there and literally just sit there for like the five six hours we were out and then we'd come back in and he'd be like oh cool you're back but when you've got two of them they're running around they're interacting with each other they're not bored so having two is great having yeah it's is that a Scottish accent? No. We are on the border of Scotland. And my f my mum's side of the family is from Newcastle. Um, but it's Cumbrian. Which, but for me, is kind of slightly Geordie. But obviously Cumbrian is edging towards Scottish ever so slightly. It's, it's unique, I would say. But I don't think, I mean, I don't think I've got an accent, but obviously... Wherever you're from, nobody thinks they've got an accent because that's just obviously how you or they speak. But I don't think we've got a particularly strong accent. I don't know, maybe we have. Maybe we have. I don't know. Are you going to be able to s continue to stay home with the boys? We will get into that a little bit later. Yes. For a while, a good while longer, I would say. But like I say, we'll, we'll, we'll discuss that in a little bit. Do you lick the butt's paw? My fruit is obsessed with about getting it sometimes. Uh, your vids are getting better. Thank you. I appreciate that because I'm never sure. The videos I think are going to do well, never do. And then it's the really weird videos that I like normally rush and put together that do exceptionally well. Like the Sleeping With Pugs videos. I remember the first one I came out with that. We had the night vision. I was like, I need a video. We haven't filmed tonight. Ah, oh, oh, what do we do? I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just set the camera up. We'll put Pablo on the bed and see what happens. And that video went viral on Facebook and got like 40 million views. And I was like, that is the most rushed video I have ever put out in my life. And everyone absolutely loved it. And then some of the videos that I spent a lot of time doing get like no views and it's disheartening. So it's like, YouTube's a really weird one because it's like the, least, the, the less effort you put in seems to be more rewarding, which... I, I don't understand that. I can't remember what I was going I was going to go do something with them, but I forgot. No, I'm not waking them up. I wasn't. Gonna, no, that's not what I was doing. They're being good today. That's because they're tired. They are good when they're tired. Oh, stretch. Hi, yeah. Your legs came out. What's this? What's this? Now you got three legs. Ooh, three legs. Any update tonight? Yeah, Pablo's eye. Have a little look. Ah, oh, good boy. It's still got the misting over because obviously that might not ever go, but it's not getting any bigger, and he's got no, he's had no problems like seeing things or anything like that. He's absolutely fine. I mean, he didn't show any signs of him having any kind of impairment, anyways. But we've kept an eye on it. It seems to be not getting any bigger. We're not sure if it's getting smaller. But it's not getting any bigger, which they said it might not get smaller. It might be there forever now. But uh, it's fine. Uh, Stanley's eye is also fine. But if you're watching the the watermelon video, obviously because it was right close, he did have like a like what looked like a lump on top of his eye. It was all like kind of red, and the, the hair was gone. That was just because he caught it, or one of these guys had caught it or scratched it. So it was just a little scratch, but obviously it looked quite bad because it was on top of his eye. And Winston's eyes are fine. Your eyes are fine, aren't they, Win? 
yeah. What were the other problems we were having with them? Pablo's skin thing, that was just a that was just a scratch and it was just like a little infected scratch. And um, Winston, have you had any problems recently? Yeah, Winston had a few breathing issues and we said it was probably to do with the season change. And um, considering how the season's now fully into whatever season we're in now, it's kind of fully changed, all the grass is fully grown and things. He hasn't had it since, so he's only had it for a couple of weeks when the season was changing, so we're happy with that. We don't think it's anything else. Obviously, we're keeping an eye on him to make sure he doesn't do it anymore, but yeah, we've, had, we've got no problems with them now, so that's good because the bets aren't open. So now was the worst time for them all to go and get something random, but they're all okay. They're all fine. They've had medicines and stuff. Carl, I need a question followed by that. Right, let's have... have have you married Chelsea yet? <laughs> no. Me and Chelsea have been together now seven years, coming up eight years this year. And not... Do I? Spoiler? Spoiler alert. We have a ring. Um, so yeah, it's, it, it was, it's happening. Me and Chelsea have discussed it in length. This isn't like a surprise for her. Um, because I always said, I don't want to... I didn't want to buy a ever. I didn't want to buy a ring for it to then not like it or want to exchange it. Not that she wouldn't like it, but in case it's something better. So I said, if you pick one, then I'll get it, and then whatever. So she picked one. I got it while we were there because we made the day of it. That's why we're in Glasgow. So now it's just up. Well, now we're waiting on it, but obviously with this coronavirus thing. I don't know how long it's going to take to get here. They did say eight weeks, but obviously we've now had five weeks of shutdown, so it's probably another two months from now. So we're hoping maybe in this summer, but I, we'll have to, we'll see. Obviously, I'm going to have to think. I'm going to have to think of an idea of how to ask the question because I don't want to be. I don't want to just do it sat on the couch. I want to do something meaningful. So yeah, but no. So we are going to be getting engaged at some point soon soonish so we've got a ring but yeah so there so we'll be we'll be a proper family then we'll be a proper family where did you and chelsea meet school we are a school romance what do you call it high school romance although it's, it was just secondary school for us because we're not in america um no we met at school friends at school for a while and yeah, we're now living together, three pugs, and get that's you just. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I do talk fast. Um, yeah, I apologise for people who. If you can't understand me, me talking fast is a bad thing. I've always talked fast. Um, I always try and restrain myself in videos. If I feel I'm talking too fast, I'll go back and do it again, but a bit slower. But obviously when I'm doing live streams, I just talk how I normally would. But, because I feel as well, when I do speak slowly, it feels like I'm, re like I'm really trying to, and it comes across that way. This is just obviously natural. Take it to Disneyland and propose at the castle. It, it, I want to send you my, you have to do comic books. Ooh. Yeah, we're going to look again at P.O. Box. Like I said, we're like half an hour in now, so we'll get into the whole YouTube things and things we want to do, because P.O. Box is something we want to do. Um, in terms of the Disneyland thing, A, would love to go to America. B, America is very expensive for us, which, if you used to pull your fingers out and do some better videos, get some more views, might be able to afford it. <laughs> um, but Chelsea has a fear of people in costumes, so although we both love Disney... I mean, I don't want it to be scared. I don't want it to be scared, so that might not happen. We're not waking the pugs. We're not waking the pugs. We're sleeping. And the yeah. Can you please video the boys? Can you please make a video? Have you named the pugs? How do you come up with the pugs' names? Pugs' names. Uh, Pablo's was just a placeholder name. We couldn't decide. We were like, oh, we're getting a pug, what should we call him? I said, we should call him Pablo because it's Spanish and it's funny. And then it stuck. And then 
we kind of just had the other two lined up. As soon as we got Pablo, we knew the next one was going to be Winston. We both kind of just were like, what do you call it? What about Winston? Yeah, done. There was not really any... Pablo's was the only one that has a bit of a backstory. Do any of them lick their paws and butts? Does that answer your question? Pablo is an obsessive paw licker. Um, he's just a bit of an obsessive licker anyways. He licks the carpets, he licks cushions. We've asked the vets about it, they said it's kind of just normal, it's just a cleanly thing. And Stanley and Winston both lick ears and they lick Pablo's armpits. They don't ever lick their own paws. And then if one of them has farted, then they normally get the butt licked by the other ones because... <laughs> I don't know why. Can you do a collab with Puggy Smalls? E yes, we can. We'll have to organise it, obviously, after this whole thing's gone on. I mean, there's lots of Pugs, Pug YouTubers, Pug Instagrammers. There's, like, the Batman Pug, obviously Puggy Smalls. There's the main man, Doug the Pug. Whether that'll happen, don't know. If we ever come to America, maybe. If we get a bit bigger, there might... If we get a bit bigger, they might go, oh, they're, they're, they're a bit big. But maybe they're they're a bit big for us at the moment. But you never know. You never know. It might be nice. Um, there's loads of, like, beginning YouTubers. There's, we'd love to do videos with just subscribers, pugs and stuff. So we'd like to do, going forward, and, like, this is my problem. Because at this time, coming into summer, this is exactly when I wanted to start doing all of these. The collabs, meetups, all things like this. Like, now was when I wanted to do it, but with what's happened, I can't be, I can't be really angry. Like, that's fine. Everyone, everyone's safety is priority. Um, and obviously, social distancing is going to keep going on probably after the lockdown. So, group gatherings aren't going to be a thing. So, that might have to be next year, but it's something to look forward to, at least. We don't have favourites. Pablo's eye is fine. Um, how often do you clean the eyes? The eyes normally just get a bit of a wipe because they get like little kind of get bits of gunk, so we just give them a wipe. But most of the time, obviously, we don't want to dry them out by constantly wiping any kind of tears they've got. So you've got to kind of don't do it too much. But if it's kind of like running on the face or like they've got like bits that kind of slop over the eye, then we'll give them a bit of a clean, a bit of a wipe. Bobby? You want to stop licking your paw, please? You want to put your hat back up? <laughs> it's silly! Unfortunately, they don't do a mic outfit, but hey, there you go. <laughs> do they smell? No. So what the, what has happened here? No, they don't smell. And if you keep on top of them, keep them clean, wash them regularly. The reason people think pugs smell is obviously they've got thick hair, but that's fine. Just hello, are you okay? Do smell. Yeah, you smell so dirty. You don't really. Is the face folds, that's the bit that smells the most, because obviously when they're in your face, uh, bad breath, but that's not, I mean, the dogs, they eat mud in the garden, that's obviously going to be bad breath. But if you clean the face folds, they don't smell. Um, and if, yeah, you brush them regularly, give them baths, they don't smell. Who head tilts the most? Well, at the, at the end of the video, we'll, we'll find out peer pressure, Carl. The second pug seed is definitely planted. You influencer. Sorry, Matt. Just get one. Just bite the bullet, get one. <laughs> yeah, bats exist, yeah. Oh. Only their toots smell. Yeah, their toots do smell. You do have smelly toots. Who barks the most? Pablo barks the most. But... None of them bark for any other reason than if another dog barks. Pablo is very territorial. Obviously, he's the alpha protector of the house. So if another dog's barking, he's the first to the door to go back, back. And then Winston and Stanley will kind of follow. They don't tend to bark unless Pablo's really barking and these will kind of just join in. 
because I know something's really up if Pablo's like really barking. He's having a cuddle. Yeah. Who's a pug most likely to fight? Wrists runner. I think they would all give a fight a go. To be fair, I don't think any of them are very. Like they don't. I mean, the amount of times they go into a park and a dog's growling at them and barking, and they literally go like right up to its face, and you're like, oh my god, please don't. They're not trying to fight him. They're just like they don't understand when another dog's being aggressive. So, I think they would probably all end up. What causes the most yapping? The most other dogs, literally, they are the quietest dogs ever. And then somebody down the road, and I don't, you know, I like dogs. I really like dogs, but the black Pomeranian someone's got down the road, I don't like it. It's probably the only dog I don't like because it barks at like six o'clock in the morning to like six o'clock the next morning. It barks constantly. Well, when you let these out or you open the door, they can hear it, which sets Pablo off barking, which occasionally sets these off barking. When it's constant, you sat there on a night and you can hear it. It's locked in their house like four or five doors down. And we can hear it through our locked window. I couldn't cope if, if they were them. But yeah, it's... Krusty Nose. Oh, yeah, Krusty Nose. Um, Krusty Nose is a wee... W I agree, no work in the books. Yeah, the Krusty Nose is a... Winston's the one sleeping... Pablo's one on top and Stanley is the one in the bunny suit for everyone who's not had the lowdown yet. Christy Nose is a weird one because Christy Nose means they're dehydrated. Um, but you can't force them to drink water. But if they have got a, like a really crispy nose, because we've had it with um, uh, you. It was you, Winston, wasn't it? Did you have the crispy nose for a bit? Oh, Stan, you're so cute. He's sleeping on top of Pabby, bless him. Um, yeah, he had a bit, he had like dry across the top of his nose because obviously we were cleaning it out quite often. It dried like the top bit, it was not the front bit, but like the top bit. Um, you can get, it's it's like paw butter. It's like, you can get like a lotion stuff. Um, if you go to like a pet store and ask for it, they'll, they'll know what you're talking about. But we've got like a, a paw butter, which is meant for like the pads of the paw to keep them nice and soft and kind of, Nice. So we started using that on the top of his nose, which kind of cleared it up. So it's maybe not the exact thing you should use, but it worked. So if you've got like paw butter or anything for the nose, it's a good one. Coconut oil. There you go, someone. You guys, see, you guys know the stuff. You guys, you guys know more than me. So when I give guys and people advice, it's only you guys who have gave me it, so I can give you like pass it back out. We're a community. We work together. Will you make a Facebook page? Yes, yeah, that, when, when our videos started going viral, when we were at like 40,000 subscribers and we had a few videos go viral on Facebook, we missed out on all of that. Like it got something like 50 million views, one of them on like lad bike, we didn't see a penny or a single like, I mean we got a few people coming to the channel and subscribing, like a lot more than usual, but like 50 million views, if you look at that in a YouTube sense, that's potential that you know we we missed out on that so yeah we'll at some point make a facebook page to kind of post them videos so then we're getting the kind of back feed from it because like i say we kind of missed out because having a link in the description of just go check these guys out never doesn't generate much because for 50 million views to then gain like another couple of hundred subscribers like you know, it's it's a way it's a it's a way off. So yeah, we'll we'll look at Facebook. Yeah, Stanley's wearing a bunny. Winston, he's lying down so you can't fully see it, but he's wearing a Woody costume. So he's got like Sheriff Woody's on. So he's got the blue pants, and if I can pull his leg down, the little check a bit with the cow hide on. But you can't see that from where you are. And Pablo's actually wearing Sully from Monsters Inc. Which again, you can't particularly tell. Because Stan is now lying on top of him. He's keeping him on. Good boy. Hi from Barcelona. Hello Barcelona. From 
England. Do they ever eat stones? Yeah, sto they like to take stones out the garden and bring them inside and they just chew on stones. They never eat them, they just chew on them. Which, I, didn't th I don't think it'd be good, but have you always had pugs? No, I had flat coat retrievers, Chelsea had Labradors, obviously before we moved in together, um, like our family dogs. My grandma always had Collies, my auntie and uncle always had um, Golden Retrievers, Golden Retrievers, Golden Labs. I think they're Retrievers. No, they had short hair. What are the Labradors? Golden Labs. One of them, I can't remember. But my cousin's now got a Golden Lab and then my sister's now got a Bernese. So my family were very big dogs. So is Chelsea's family. They're all very big dogs. So getting pugs was a bit of a wild card. But everybody loves them. And you love everybody, don't you? I can't wait till this isolation's over and we can go take them to see them all. Because like, we passed my mum's on my walk. So we kind of stop at the gate and give her like a wave at the window and stuff. And they go absolutely crazy and her dogs go absolutely crazy because they just want to see each other. But obviously we can't. And it's hard to resist the temptation to just let them off. But we're sticking to the rules. So we kind of give her a wave and stay at the end of the drive. Have a little chat. And then we'll, we'll wander off and do the rest of our walk. But I can't wait for them to meet Minnie again. Go meet. Want to see Minnie? See? I love her. I'm going to go see Miley. <gasps> go see Miley. Yeah. Oh. There you go, there's Win. Ooh, look at him. He's a cowboy. So now I've got them all riled up a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, we'll, we'll get on to... We'll, how have you managed to get out of that? Did... Did, did you guys... How did... Hold on, let me get it. Boop. Look, it's it's like a it's like a t-shirt. So like you've got the egg holes. Like how did he just walk out of that? Like it was nothing. That is absolutely incredible. Look, it's Stanley's in shock. What has just happened? <laughs> see, I've teased him now. Pablo's now by the door because he thinks we're going to see Miley and Minnie. So they're so excited, they can't, these cannot wait to go see them again. Stanley did it. Did Stanley whip it off him? Was it like... He just pulled it off him. Like one of them table tricks where you just like pull the cloth off. I, I'm genuinely amazed at that. That's... That's unbelievable. I can't believe that just happened. Look at you. You don't you look all smart in your outfit. Yeah, put your hood up. Although Woody comes with a cowboy hat, he didn't come with a cowboy hat. He comes with a hood with Woody written on it. Good boy. That's such small ears. So yeah, I bet we've been we've been talking a while. He held on to it. Ah, oh, did were you holding on to it and he just like slipped down out of it? Did it? Is that what happened? I wasn't paying attention. I just seen a naked pug run past me. I was very. Get a black pug. We're, we're stopping at three. We're stopping at three. But Chelsea's family are looking at getting pugs. Two pugs. And they might get a black one. They might get a form one. They might get two form ones, two black ones. They're not sure. They're not fussed. So, well, they might get one black and one fawn. So, everybody who wants more puppy content, it won't be coming from us for a long time. Um, what was that? <laughs> yeah. Um, but they're going to get potentially two, so we'll obviously, and they're going to be retiring soon, so in terms of filming videos, the chance of having five pugs in a lot of videos is very high at the moment, so that maybe next year, maybe the year after, we will see. But yeah, there may be some more puppies, there might be a black one, but we're stopping at three. I've been over this quite a few times. Three's enough, because a lot of the times it's only. Like me walk them because Chelsea's at work, so I'll walk them during the day. I'll take them to go do stuff and photo shoots and put them in the car and things. 
three is a lot to handle for just one person, and I just, I just think adding a fourth is going to make it unmanageable, and being unmanageable isn't an option. They need to be manageable. Don't is. I mean, he's a well-behaved. We're trying to get three of these in the car at once. It's, I mean, you just can't. You can only hold two, so you've got to rely on the other one being good and not running off. And if it does run off, then you've got to rely on the other two not jumping out the boot. It's yeah. So I've been four is just just too risky. Greetings from Dussel Dusseldorf. Welcome. I think someone's now. Is that? Yeah, so we'll get on we'll get on to the YouTube thing, that's the title of this stream. Um What are we doing, where are we going, how long can we sustain this for currently in its current state, what we're doing, and everything like that, because obviously plans for this year have changed, but haven't changed to something that Well they've changed in terms of I've had to stop them, but there isn't currently anything in its place because we can't do anything, really. There's only so much content you can do in the house. We can't go anywhere. We can't buy things to like do for videos. Like we can go out and get new outfits, but we can't because places that sell outfits are shut. You're not allowed to buy them. Obviously, we can do a lot of online shopping and stuff, but the current state of the channel, and can I get a graphic up? Well, no, I'll try and pull a graphic up here. Here we go. This This will go terribly wrong. Let's have a look. Um, ah, here we go. Let's see if this happens. Oh, yes. Now, can I make this smaller? Oh, yeah. Oh, hold on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, here we go. Right, let's move you over there. Right then. There we go. So this is from a website. The boys love the car, by the way. As you've just seen a comment in there. And yes, um, when we get the other car sorted, I'm going to be converting it into a specific dog car. So we're ripping the back seats out and we're going to put like some proper like mats and beds down in there for the boys. And it's going to be like a proper boys riding car. So the boys can go cruising. But yeah, okay. So we've got this graph down in this corner. We're now covering Pablo. <laughs> Come here. Whee! So this is from a site called Social Blade. You can go on there, you can look at any YouTuber statistics and all things like that. It tells you roughly how much people are earning and everything like that. It's quite interesting. Um, it's accurate-ish in terms of that, so you'll maybe get a good gauge. Um, but if we look at it down here, as you can see, the past three months have been, in terms of like, in terms of views, it's doing okay. Um, in terms of subscribers, I think that is. Well, let me just double check what I'm actually looking at. Yeah, you can kind of see even well, even the views as well. Um, so January January twenty eighteen was when we were pulling in the views and subscribers around that range. Like that's like that's a re that's a serious dip we've just took right there on these past like three months. Obviously, the isolation wasn't part of that. That's like a separate thing. You can kind of see it's tailing up now and we're kind of heading off. And we've just released the Sleeping With Three Pugs video. So fingers crossed that that'll go viral again and that'll maybe help us get out of this kind of rut. But we are currently in a rut. Because um, if I can pull the other... All right, get all fancy here with graphics. I'd have been more prepared. Um, here we go. Right, we'll pull this one up. Like I said, this is free information. You guys can go look at all this stuff yourself. Um, it's just on the internet. You might you maybe be able to see that. You might not. Um, this is from, I think, a week ago. And as you can see on there, it tells you like your daily averages, your weekly averages. But as you can see, it's given me a range of weekly income between, what's that? £60 and £1,000. Now... Bear in mind, all of our outgoings, bills, everything like that is just shy of a thousand pounds. So you can maybe guess how much money we get. Oh, I've just clicked off that by accident. 
So we're a little, we're a little down. We're a little down. We're, we're a little down. Right, but if you look at like the views and stuff and how many subscribers we're getting, it's, and I try not to look at views because it doesn't give a fair representation of what's happening and all stuff like this, but it has been on a decline and, you know, we've, I've tried doing loads of different things and it just seemed to be getting worse and worse and worse. Obviously you guys who are here now, you guys have probably watched everything and won't notice a difference. But obviously I see statistics over interaction. Um, so yeah, it's, yeah, it's super confusing. It is. I'll try and walk you through kind of what I'm getting at. Oh yeah. Oh, I know, I know you just want to sit on my knee, but you're not allowed. Not at the moment. So obviously if views are down, subscribers are down, then income's down. Obviously I can only do YouTube as long as it's sustainable for me. Now, I've always said as long as I'm getting enough to pay the bills, I'm happy, you know, I'm not going to be trying to earn 10 grand a month, like I'm not really bothered about that, that would be nice, but I'm not bothered about that, as long as I'm paying the bills, I'm happy because the quality of life is just so much better than it was when I was working, but obviously at the moment, we're not at that, we're not meeting that threshold at all, we're not, we're close-ish to it, but we need to do more, so here's the thing, Here's what we're gonna do, right? Because obviously for me, YouTube is a way of giving you guys content for free. And I, I always wanted to stick by my principles and I've said it ever since we started. I've never had a sponsored video. I've never charged you guys for anything. We've got the merch out. And again, I was looking at some people's merch the other day and they're charging twice as much as we are. And all of that is profit. Now, like, we're missing out on a lot of money in a lot of places just from simple little things. So, going forward, we're going to be trying to do more YouTube things, if that makes sense. So, like, um, so obviously at the end of every video, and the thing is, I get slated for this. At the end of every video, as you guys will know, I finish it off, like, comment, subscribe, peace out, right? That's the ending I've done to all videos. I get, God knows how many comments saying, stop begging for likes, stop begging for subscribers. Right, YouTube 101 is ask at the start of the video. You'll notice every other YouTuber at the start of the video will be like, oh, I like this video and subscribe if you're not already and then gets into the video, right? I'll do mine at the end. Now, if you look at views, you start off with 100% of people of your views watching the first minute of your video and then it'll go down. So by the end of the video, there's only like 10% of people watching. So I'm gonna start asking at the start. Sponsored videos, that doesn't cost you guys any money. So if we can get sponsors for videos, we will. We're gonna be trying to do that. And we're just gonna try and do little things like that until we kind of start meeting that threshold again and then we can kind of back off. Um, I mean, there's loads, of, like say Facebook, we haven't started doing TikToks yet. And obviously that can build just, the more people we can get onto YouTube from different platforms, we can pull people from everywhere. So Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, we need like, before I made this YouTube channel, I wasn't a social media person. I wasn't posting on Instagram all the time. I wasn't wanting to be in the spotlight. I just wanted to post videos of the dogs. And like it was, so I'm not used to posting Instagrams every day and doing feeds and stories and all things like this like even now i'm not used to it it's weird uh, it's strange so we need to start getting better at that so we're not going to be doing daily videos from now on we're going to be going back to kind of every other day but then in the meantime i'm going to be concentrating on my other channel and then TikTok and doing facebook and doing a lot of things behind the scene to try and get the channel more more income because at the end of the day i can only do this currently as it is, if I have to go back to work because it's not making ends meet, fine. And then that just, well that means for you, it's, it'll be less content again because obviously if I'm working, if I'm working, um, then I can't put as many videos out, I can't spend as much time doing videos. So I wanna kinda 
try as much as possible to keep it going. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be concentrating on a lot of different things and like I was looking at potentially like a membership section on the channel because um, obviously people are liking these live streams but the only people who ever really watch them are obviously you like hardcore dedicated fans they don't get obviously it's like an hour to live stream people can't make it people don't want to watch an hour long video understandable now I don't want to do all this I don't want to talk like this in videos I want videos to just be about the dogs and or whatever it is that I'm doing I don't like doing this type of thing in a video because people aren't interested and a lot of people probably aren't interested now um, they'll scratch oh. but yeah so we're going to be trying to kind of expand a bit get sponsors and do all these things and yeah I know a lot of people obviously will uh, will kind of hit the roof with that and you're just another YouTuber now well we have to be like that's we have to be because otherwise we can't be if I was still working it wouldn't be a problem but the problem is this is my only income now so if it's not making enough it's not making enough but um yeah people all the time uh, Pippi has just said the exact thing what I was just about to say I just kind of glanced over at the chat there people talk about Patreons and all things like this all the time um, and yeah I could set one of them up but again that's kind of I don't like necessarily taking money directly from people in a sense um, but like doing live streams I would be happy to open in like a donation thing so if people want to that's fine um, and yeah but, as like, but something like merch I feel like if you pay for that like you get something back whereas patreon just seems to be i mean i know people offer videos and things but i want everybody to have access to all videos because i don't want to pay all videos i want everyone to have access to them i think that's fair um it's a free platform everything should be free but merch like you're getting something for your money so i feel like that's that's a good thing we are going to be like i say now we're not doing daily videos i'll spend a couple of days putting some new merch together some Team Pablo, Team Winston, Team Stanley t-shirts. We'll get some. What we want to do as well for like, we want to do like maybe a calendar, Christmas cards, all things like this. We want to expand out. We're going to do a lot of things. But YouTube has a membership section. Now I've looked at some other YouTubers and what kind of they offer and stuff. And they offer like videos behind the membership wall. And they charge like $20 and things like this. Now, I wouldn't want to do that, but for... Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind, guys. We'll wrap the video up here then. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, yeah, are we, are we back on? I can't see. Yeah, we'll, right, we'll keep going for a little bit. Yeah, I do feel awkward asking for money and I don't like it. So I'm going to figure out other ways of generating it. But anyways, the camera's overheating again. We'll wrap the video up here. I maybe will do... A video explaining what's going to go on once I've figured out everything um, but yeah as it currently stands YouTube for us isn't in the best of place at the moment we're trying but we can only do so much um, hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys enjoyed these in the outfits we'll take some photos post some Instagrams of them but yeah thank you guys for joining this live stream um, technical issues again we're gonna to have to be we're gonna to have to be a bit more YouTube-y, I'm afraid. Um, that's just how it's gonna to have to be from now on. Which I didn't want to do, but at the end of the day, I need to make ends meet, and that's that. Right? Have a good Easter, everyone. Enjoy isolation. We'll we'll come back. We'll do it next Sunday. We'll live stream again next Sunday, and we'll have a good chat again. So, peace out, guys. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Don't buy too much toilet paper. And this isn't me, I, I don't want to end on a downer as well. That wasn't me trying to have a downer. But I'm telling you guys how it is. Bye. Peace out. And I didn't even hit the button. Bye bye.